we present primary mathematics for standard 6 pupils. In today's program, we shall learn how to convert fractions into decimals and decimals back into fractions. In the studio is the radio teacher and two standard 6 pupils. Welcome to the program. Hello, standard 6 pupils. In this program, we shall learn how to convert fractions into decimals and decimals into fractions. With me in the studio are your fellow standard 6 pupils, Naema and Mark. Naema and Mark, say hello to the standard 6 pupils. Hello, hello pupils. pupils. In class 5, we learned how to convert a fraction into decimal by renaming the denominator to have 10 or 100. Mark, how do we rename 2 out of 5 to have the denominator 10? To rename the fraction 2 out of 5 to have the denominator 10, we multiply the numerator 2 by 2 and the denominator 5 multiplied by 2, which is equal to 4 out of 10. Good, Mark. To rename the fraction 2 out of 5 to have the denominator 10, we multiply both the numerator and the denominator by 2 to get 4 out of 10. Then, we write the fraction as a decimal. 4 out of 10 as a decimal is 0 0.4. Now class, how do we rename the fraction 13 out of 20 to have the denominator 100? Thank you, class. Nema, how do we rename the fraction 13 out of 20 to have the denominator 100? We multiply the numerator and the denominator by 5, that is, 13 multiplied by 5 out of 20 multiplied by 5 is equal to 65 out of 100. Good, Nema. Class, I hope you found the numerator as 65 and the denominator as 100. We multiply the numerator and the denominator by 5 to get 65 out of 100. Then we write the fraction 65 out of 100 as a decimal. 65 out of 100 as a decimal is 0 0.65. A decimal is a fraction in which the denominator is 10 or a multiple of 10. A decimal fraction is written with a dot put before the numerator in a proper fraction. This dot is known as the decimal point. For example, 4 out of 10 is equal to 0 0.4. 4 out of 100 is equal to 0 0.04. And 4 out of 1000 is equal to 0 0.004. We also learned that a fraction can be changed into a decimal by dividing the numerator by the denominator. Now Mark, how do we convert the fraction 3 out of 8 to a decimal number? We change the fraction 3 out of 8 to a decimal number by dividing the numerator 3 by the denominator 8. 3 out of 8 equals to 0 0.375. Good, Mark. We convert the fraction 3 out of 8 to decimal by dividing the numerator 3 by the denominator 8. This gives us 0 0.375. In a fraction that do not have 10 or multiples of 10 as their denominators, 
we convert them into decimals by using the long division. We will now convert the fraction 5 out of 8 into a decimal. We will use the long division. You notice that 5 cannot be divided by 8. So we write 0 above 5 and place the decimal point after 0. Now write another 0 next to 5 to make the value 50. 8 goes into 50 6 times. Write 6 after the decimal point. 6 multiplied by 8 is equal to 48. Write 48 below 50 and subtract to get 2. Write another 0 to 2 to make 20. Now write 2 after 6. 2 multiplied by 8 is equal to 16. Write 16 below 20 and subtract to get 4. Write another 0 next to 4 to make it 40. 8 goes into 40 5 times. So write 5 after 2. Therefore, 5 out of 8 is equal to 0 0.625. This is called a terminating decimal. In using long division method to convert fractions into decimals, we will encounter decimals that do not seem to end. Such decimals will not end no matter how long you will continue to divide. To write the answer to such decimals, a dot is placed above the number or numbers that repeat themselves. These decimals are called recurring decimals. Mark, how do we convert the fraction 2 out of 3 into decimals? We convert the fraction 2 out of 3 as a decimal using long division method. 2 out of 3 is equal to 0 0.66666666. Good, Mark. The fraction 2 out of 3 as a decimal is 0 0.6666 and 6 keeps on repeating itself. 0 0.666 is written as 0 0.6 with a dot above 6. Class, how do we convert the fraction 7 out of 11 into a decimal? Thank you. Nema, how do we convert 7 out of 11 into a decimal? We convert fraction 7 out of 11 into a decimal using long division. 7 out of 11 is equal to 0 0.6363636363 is written 0 0.63 with dots above 6 and 3. Good, Nema. Class, I hope you wrote 0 0.63 with dots above the recurring numbers 6 and 3. No matter how long we continue to divide, we will always get 63 repeating itself. Therefore, 0 0.63 recurring is written as 0 0.63 with dots above 6 and 3. We have learned that fractions can be changed into decimals. 
Mixed numbers can also be expressed as a decimal. A mixed number has a whole number part and a fraction part. It can be changed into an improper fraction. An improper fraction is a fraction whose numerator is greater than the denominator. Mark, how do we convert 1 and 3 out of 8 into a decimal? We convert the mixed number to a decimal by first converting the mixed number 1 and 3 out of 8 to an improper fraction. 1 and 3 out of 8 as an improper fraction is equal to 11 out of 8. We then divide the numerator by the denominator using long division. Therefore, 1 and 3 out of 8 as a decimal is 1.375. Good, Mark. The mixed number 1 and 3 out of 8 as a decimal is equal to 1.375. We convert the mixed number 1 and 3 out of 8 into an improper fraction. We then divide the numerator by the denominator using the long division method. 1 and 3 out of 8 as a decimal is 1.375. Class, how do we convert 4 and 3 out of 5 into a decimal? Thank you, class. Nema? Convert 4 and 3 out of 5 into a decimal. We convert the mixed fraction 4 and 3 out of 5 as a decimal by converting the mixed number first to an improper fraction. 4 and 3 out of 5 as an improper fraction is equal to 23 out of 5. We then divide the numerator by the denominator using long division. This gives us 4.6. Good, Neema. Class, I hope you got the mixed number 4 and 3 out of 5 into a decimal as 4.6. We convert the mixed fraction 4 and 3 out of 5 into a decimal by first converting the mixed fraction into an improper fraction. 4 and 3 out of 5 as an improper fraction is 23 out of 5. We then divide the numerator by the denominator using long division to get 4.6. We have learned that a fraction can be changed into a decimal by dividing the numerator by the denominator. A decimal can also be changed into a fraction. For example, 0 0.1 is equal to 1 out of 10. 0 0.1 is a decimal and 1 out of 10 is a fraction. To change a fraction into a decimal, we write the decimal as a decimal fraction which is easier. We use the concept of total value. We look at the last digit to the right. For example, in the decimal 0 0.0425, the last digit 5 is in the place value of 10 thousandths. Therefore, 0 0.0425 as a fraction is 425 out of 10,000. Then we write the fraction in its simplest form by simplifying 425 out of 10,000 we get 17 out of 400. Mark, how do we convert 0 0.71 into a fraction? We convert the decimal 0 0.71 to a fraction by looking at the place value of the last digit. The place value of the last digit in 0 
seven one to the right is hundred. Therefore, zero point seven one is equal to seventy one out of a hundred. Seventy one out of a hundred cannot be simplified further. Good mark. Zero point seven one as a fraction is seventy one out of a hundred. The place value of the last digit in zero point seven one to the right is hundreds. Therefore, zero point seven one is equal to seventy one out of a hundred, and seventy one out of a hundred cannot be simplified further. To change a decimal into a fraction, we look at the place value. Of the last digit to see if it is in tenths, hundreds, or thousands. Then we write the decimal as a fraction with the denominator ten, hundred, a thousand, or ten thousand. And lastly, we simplify the fraction where possible. Neema. How do we convert the decimal 0.028 into a fraction? We convert 0.028 to a fraction by looking at the place value of the last digit to the right. The place value of the last digit in 0.028 to the right is thousands. Therefore, 0.028 as a fraction is 28 Out of a thousand, by simplifying twenty-eight out of a thousand, we get seven out of two hundred and fifty. Very good, Nema. Zero point zero two eight as a fraction is seven out of two hundred and fifty. To express decimals into mixed numbers, we change the decimal into a fraction first, and then we simplify. Mark. How do we convert 5.07 into a mixed number? To convert 5.07 to a mixed number, we look at the place value of the last digit to the right. The place value of 7 in 5.07 is 100. Therefore, 5.07 as a mixed number is 5 and 7 out of 100. 5 and 7 out of 100. Cannot be simplified further. Good, Mark. Class, did you get the mixed number five and seven out of a hundred? Good. To convert five point zero seven into a mixed number, we look at the place value of the last digit. The place value of the last digit in five point zero seven to the right is hundreds. Therefore, five point zero seven. As a mixed number is five and seven out of a hundred. Five is the whole number, and seven out of a hundred is the fraction part. Today, we have learned how to convert fractions into decimals and decimals into fractions. And with that, we come to the end of our program for today. We present primary mathematics for standard six pupils. In today's program, we shall learn how to convert fractions into decimals and decimals back into fractions. In the studio is the radio teacher and two standard six pupils. Welcome to the program. <laughs> 